Welcome to the Bellingcat How-To Series. This series is aimed at anyone who wants to use Bellingcat's research tools. This is a very special edition as we want to use this video to present the new Bellingcat Online Investigations Toolkit. Ever struggle to find tools for your research? Or maybe you don't even know where to start looking for all those tools that are out there? This is where the new Online Investigations Toolkit comes in. The AI-driven search feature helps you find tools for everything, from satellite imagery analysis to social media scraping, transportation tracking, or archiving your research materials. The updated version is also designed to help researchers learn how to use each tool. It provides in-depth descriptions, common use cases, and also information on limitation on requirements on the tools in the toolkit. The toolkit is maintained by a dedicated group of volunteers, our toolkit maintainers and our guardians. And that's us. My name is Afton. Hi, I'm Laura. And my name is Fraser, and we're all part of a global authentication project, the volunteer community of Bellingcat. Through this community, we work closely with Bellingcat staff receive training from researchers and advanced research skills and collaborate in projects like this one, restructuring of the Online Investigations Toolkit. This is the first time in Bellingcat's 10-year history that we are opening our toolkit to contributions from the wider open source researcher community. We are working hard to keep this toolkit up to date and are involved in further improving it. It is still a work in progress and we expect the number of tools in the toolkit grow over time. There is a wide range of tools available, from satellite imagery to flight tracking tools to online business registries and social media scraping services. Some of them are provided by big tech companies, others are built and shared by volunteers. They can be found in the form of downloadable or command line tools on code sharing platforms like GitHub or as browser extensions. The Online Investigations Toolkit will provide an overview. All right, let's get started by clicking on a specific category, maps and satellites, for instance. If you click maps, you'll see all available tools listed in alphabetical order. You also see a short tool description and information on whether the tool is paid or can be used for free. Tools that have some free and some paid features are marked as partially free. Clicking the tool of interest will show you an in-depth description of a tool with tips and tricks on how to use it. These descriptions are written by us volunteers, by Bellingcat staff, and by members of the wider open source research community. They have their individual style and length, but all follow the same structure. Searching for tools in the toolkit can be done through a natural language search interface powered by OpenAI. And that's why it's possible to ask about tools that are recommended tools or look for tools that could be useful in a very specific investigation. For example, how can I check if a phone number was part of a leak? And you can use it to try to get a list of concrete steps for doing a specific research task. These answers are all based on the descriptions that we included in the toolkit. Bellingcat's new online investigations tool is collaborative. We aim to create a resource that brings together the joint wisdom of the online research community and make the task of finding tools less daunting for everyone. You can provide feedback on our toolkit. This helps us make the toolkit even better. Do you feel like there's something missing and you would like to write a description about a tool? You can simply submit your own. We cannot guarantee that we will publish your description, but we promise that we seriously consider every contribution. If you work for a newsroom, a university or a research organization and you would like to contribute to this toolkit, you can reach out to toolkit at bellingcat.com. That is toolkit at bellingcat.com. You can also apply to join the Bellingcat volunteer community. If selected, you will be able to contribute to this and many other projects as part of an active group of open source research enthusiasts. Thank you all for watching the video. I hope this video gave you good insights into the possibilities that the toolkit offers and hope that it turns out to be useful in your own research efforts. The new toolkit was a huge effort from the Bellingcat team and volunteers and we are excited to present you with the results.
If you need any help or have questions, we have an active and helpful community on Discord. You can also find all of Bellingcat's open source research tools on our GitHub. You can find all of these links in the description. If you're interested in how to use other Bellingcat tools, check out our other videos in this series. We're going to be making more of these videos in the future.